Ladies and gentlemen, I think the Colts. You think Colts, you think the Colts know who may be the easiest target for the offense? You think they might know this? Because I've I've said this, to be honest. Like, when you look at the offense, Carson Wentz and Michael Pittman Jr., the connection we all dreamed of it actually working, it's not working. It's not. In my opinion, it's not working. Like, yeah, they got some targets. That he caught a few footballs from him, but like when it gets to the red zone, he just can't catch it or Carson's overthrowing him. But there is a guy on the offense for the Colts that Carson Wentz is going to be best friends with. And he figured that out against the Dolphins. And it's freaking Mo Alley Cox. Give Big Mo the football. And, of course, we love Jack Doyle. Thank you, Jack Doyle, for that big catch you caught in the game. Shout out to Zach Pascal. Like I said, still one of the most consistent receivers on the offense. We're not using Paris Campbell as we are supposed to um, still. But, I mean, he, he, caught, he caught a few passes, but he's still not being used how we expected. But Mo Ali Cox, Big Mo, is going to be the best target for Carson Wentz. All he has to do is give him the football. And you've seen what he did against the Dolphins. He literally, and jump up, just throw it up. Just throw, a former basketball player, big hands. He's tall. He's going to catch him. He's going to catch him. Look who was guarding, R Eric Rowe. He was a baby. He, you seen the celebration he did? He was a baby. Just throw the football up. Big Mo is his best target on this offense. Now you might say, hey, Naheem Hines. Very versatile, athletic, can catch it out the backfield and can run. I understand that. But Michael Pittman Jr., supposed to be shining this year. It's supposed to be his year. I understand. But I don't care. I don't. After yesterday, these teams that we got coming up in the upcoming schedule, Mo Ali Cox has to be the number one guy. He has to be. Former VCU basketball player. He has to be the number one target for the Colts moving forward. I'm done. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. Run blocking, he can do that. Route running, eh, iffy. But we don't care about that. Jump ball situation, can catch the football. And he, you know, you see how many people that tried to, it took to take him down on that one catch moving up the field before we got a touchdown from Jonathan Taylor? That one big play? It took four defenders from the Dolphins to try to bring him down. That's how much of an athlete and how big of a brute he is at tight end. That should tell you all you need to know. That should tell you all they need to know. Like I said, we love Jack Doyle. Colin Grant took a pass last week. Congratulations. I'm glad he got on the field. Gaddy got some stats. Jonathan Taylor's trying to figure it out on the run. That just opens the game up for Big Mo. There you have it, Colts. Your game plan for offense. Play action. Mo Alley Cox. Four verts. Mo Ali Cox is like, I can't make this up. If you go to red zone, Big Mo and Michael Pippen Jr. should be the only receivers I see out there. Jack Doyle on a flat route, maybe. Kyler Granson on the underneath pass, maybe so. But three tight ends on red zone. On my red zone offense, I probably would want three tight ends and one receiver. One tight end on this side, two on this side, and Michael Pippen Jr. on the opposite. That should be your red zone offense. And Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. If you want to switch it up, put Jonathan Taylor at fullback. Naheem Hines at running back, work it out. Come on, Frank, work it out. This is your game plan. This is how you're going to be successful. Let this game against the Dolphins show your identity on your offense because you moved the chains in the second half. This is how you're going to get it. This is how you're going to get it done. The Colts fans are going to root for you if you do this. Like, you guys let me know in your comment section. In the comment section, who do you think should be the number one target? Paris Campbell? Sure. Sure, if he's going to use them, wide receiver screens, bootlegs, jet sweeps, all those th all those good things. If he's going to use them that way, sure, I agree, 100%. But Mo Ali Cox could be the number one guy. He could be the guy to move the chains for the offense, man. He could be the guy. Just give him the ball, get out of the way. No, nobody getting in the way. No holding calls. You know, no neutral zone. You know, none of that. We don't want no offensive passes interference. No illegal blocking. We don't want none of that stuff. Just give the ball to Mo, Big Mo and get out the way. And the Colts are moving the chains. Simple as that.
If they try to double up on Mo, hand the ball off to Jonathan Taylor. 100 yards last week. Could be very successful moving up to the future. Why? Because Big Mo can block. Run those outside tosses. Run those counters. You got an offense, Coach Frank. You got an offense right here. And who's best to tell you than me? Culture shock, you know? A, a fan that's watching on TV. I know you watch film. I understand. But it feels like after these last three weeks, before we beat the Dolphins, it felt like they wasn't watching film at all because they kept running the same play and weren't moving anything on offense. But this is it. Give the ball to Big Mo. You heard it here first. Let me know your, co your comments in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this. Who should be the number one target? And who do you think is going to be the biggest player on offense to get this offense to move? Let me know all these things in the comment section. This is Marcus. And until next time, you've been Culture Shot.